Oh, yeah, really. All right. This is Jackie. I'm here with your all access interview with ex ambassadors. We're here at day two of a very sunny, very warm Bonnaroo. Um, you guys are from, or most of you are from New York State, correct? Yeah, we're from uh, upstate New York, a, a place called Ithaca. A uh, place called Ithaca. I'm from a place from New Jersey. Oh. I, I, I feel you. Yeah. Where, where in New Jersey? Sussex County. Oh, okay. Where there's like trees, and it's kind of like here in Tennessee. It's yeah. quiet. It's a, honestly, it's a similar vibe. A lot of places in Jersey to, to upstate New York. It's it's pretty, you know, it's pretty country, but like you know, neighborhoody and. Yeah. and uh, so, what are some radio stations you guys listen to uh, up in? up in New York State? Well, we have this great college radio station uh, at Ithaca College called WICB. Um, they're, they're really awesome. That's what we grew up like. They, they always like had the new bands that nobody knew about. Um, and uh, there's WVBR, which is like their rock radio station up there. And that was pretty much it. It was just those two stations. Uh, but in New York, uh, in New York City, where, where we've been based for a while, um, we listened to a lot of Hot 97. 106 and Park, or not 106 and Park, sorry, uh, uh, what is it? Power 105. Power 105. Power 105. Yeah. 105. yeah. I remember those stations as oh, well. Yeah, Just yeah, haven't yeah. been there very uh, in quite a while. Um, and you mentioned uh, your local radio stations. How did local radio help you guys get started? Well, I remember when we were first starting as a, a young band, we were in high school, like in our last year, we, we put a record together and and uh, under a different name, we were called the Fuzz Brothers. And, uh, and WVBR, I, I remember they played like a couple. I, a friend of ours was a, um, a young DJ there, and he like played our whole record the whole way through uh, one night when, it, when we put it out. And, and that, was, that was a very cool experience. So, yeah, I mean, and we, we've also had incredible uh, luck with, uh, you know, with the ambassadors. And, and we had this one radio station down in Norfolk, Virginia, WROX, um, that really uh, took us in, and we were nobody. Nobody knew who we were, and this, this one DJ who was there, James Steele, he's not there anymore, but he uh, took a song of ours and, and just played, he played the hell out of it, and, and got us to like the number one song that year in that, in, on that station. It and look at you cool. now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. This is our second interview. Uh, uh, yeah. We talked last oh, time. Uh, gotta oh, love Mother Nature. God, oh, yeah. Just smack me. Just Sorry. Smack. It's all Sorry. good. It's all good. They're beating up the press. Now nah, this is our, our second chat. Uh, yeah, yeah. Last time we talked was last year at Firefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing again this year. Amazing. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to bring like a portable fan or something. Know, right? Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Yep. I mean, how do you guys keep cool and, and sort of keep going? Because summer festivals can be really tiring. Well, as you can maybe see, we're breaking the cardinal rule right now of uh, shorts. Black. Wearing, oh, wearing well, shorts. Wearing black, too. Yeah, she's right. Yeah. Cardinal totally. band rule is that you just are not allowed to wear shorts. Can't wear shorts. Today is an exception because it is ungodly hot. We're also not playing today, so we can... Have um, how has your sound evolved from your work early on to uh, the current? I think this new album that we're putting out, um, VHS, is, it's a lot more soulful and, and uh, it shows a bit more of our, our, our influence, uh, our influences from, from like R&B and, and, and gospel and soul and that kind of stuff. Um, well, not so much gospel because we're all Jewish. We don't really <laughs> listen to gospel music, but... Uh, but you know uh, that that kind of vibe is is definitely more present on on this record than any of our other records, which have been more rock oriented. But there's still some heavy hitters on this one too, in the rock wise. You know. And you guys have also worked with other artists uh, like Eminem and Zed. What are benefits uh, of doing collaborations? Do you learn something new? Do you get get something out of it? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you get exposure out of it for one thing. You know, you get. To you know, you get this amazing you know famous artist who you've heard you know about and you know looked up to your whole life to to work with you on you know some of your own you know creations. It's pretty pretty amazing, but uh, you know it's you know it's also it'll bring out you know something different in you usually than what you'd write for your own you know band or your own material. So it brings out a little extra creativity in that respect as well. I'd say. Well said. Uh, where can we hear ex-ambassadors on some video games? 
I, I'm, I'm a fan of like the old school video games. I can't play things with a big controller, too many buttons, but I know that you guys are... He's a big game. He's a video game guy. We're going to be in the new Madden, which is coming out in August. We, our song was used in Battlefield. It, it, for all over. FIFA. Okay, so lots of different stuff. You're also involved. Uh, mu your music can be heard in sports. Um, what are some of the benefits of having your music featured in movies, TV, and commercials? I mean, it's just like the way people like find out about music now. I mean, that's it's like the benefit of having your name in you know Rolling Stone like 10, 15 years ago. You know, it's the same. It's the same deal. Like if you have your song in a commercial, people can Shazam it if they like the song, and then boom, it's like. So it's just, yeah, it's just, that's a way of getting your name out there. That's, that's the biggest benefit. Who has a Jeep? We're working on it. <laughs> we're, we're all working on it. I'm right telling now. you, that, that was the best place song to, uh, to a commercial ever, Renegades. If, if you haven't yeah. caught, up, caught up, listen to it. It's, just, it's a great song, and the commercial, it's a good union. Thank you, yeah. So Firefly is coming up next. What's up next after that? After that, we're going on tour with Milky Chance in July and August. That's going to be great. Um, following that, in the fall, we're, we're getting ready to announce some tour dates of our own. We're going to do a big tour in the fall. and We're playing Oshiega. Uh, we're playing Bonnaroo tomorrow. And we're playing Firefly next weekend. Let me just think. Uh, we're playing a couple radio festivals. One in, we're playing one in Vegas uh, called Life is Beautiful. Um, we're doing a bunch of stuff, man. Don't wear black in Vegas. That's my tip. I know. All right. All right. Do that. Do that favor. We're also releasing our first full-length record on uh, June thirtieth. Most importantly. Yeah. Thank you. I was trying. I was trying to get us there. I, I wasn't going to let us go with without that. And and we just put out a new music video for Renegades too. So check that out. So stay tuned for the very, very busy ex-ambassadors. This is Jackie, thanks to All Access and in the key of change. All right, gents.